Hi everybody, this is Miss Penny and this is another one of Miss Penny's favorite foods. Um, it is my grandmother's blackberry cobbler. Old, old, old recipe, but a goodie. We're going to do this one now. We're going to start out, we have to cook our blackberries about 10 minutes because blackberries tend to be a little bit tart. So we got to get a little bit of sweetness in them before we do the cobbler. So first of all, what we're going to do is that. You need a pan. I've got three cups of beautiful, beautiful blackberries. We put all those in there. And it's really a simple recipe. Like I say, most recipes in their originality are simple. We're going to add one cup of sugar. We're going to add one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. As you know, I use McCormick. We're going to use two teaspoons of cornstarch. And last but not least, we are going to use one half stick of butter. We're going to use a half a stick of unsalted butter. If you just have salted butter, which is what I grew up on, the, the, the unsalted butter. But if you have salted butter, use that too. This is half of a stick, which is a fourth of a cup of unsalted butter. We're going to put this on the stove for about 10 minutes. You do want your blackberries to stay whole. So you don't want to cook it into a syrup. You just want to incorporate this syrup that the blackberries are going to make and thicken for your cobbler. So this goes on the stove now. Again, it's going to take about 10 minutes. You do not want to overcook your blackberries. Because I'm going to cook in the pie. And you want them to keep their integrity. Second, we're going to start on our crust while that's being done. Okay, so this is our bottom crust. So this particular recipe, my grandmother's recipe, she had a peach orchard. Our backyard was a peach orchard. So peaches were always, always available, in season and out of season. She was a big canner. However, the blackberries, which is my grandmother's other favorite food and mine as well, she got that from Kentucky. Her brother and his wife, my Uncle Jesse and Aunt Mary, they had a huge farm. And Aunt Mary grew blackberries. So every year, they would come down from Kentucky, or up from Kentucky, I would say, because we were in Ohio, and they would bring, oh, maybe six quarts of blackberries that Aunt Mary picked and brought up to my grandmother. And my grandmother, in exchange, would give her that many quarts of fresh peaches that my Aunt Mary didn't have. Aunt Mary also made wonderful fresh butter. And she would bring several cakes because they caked, they caked the butter. It wasn't sticks like it is now. And she brought, would bring several cakes of this marvelous homemade butter. That is what we used when we made, uh, when my grandmother rather made her blackberry cobbler. That fresh butter. And those fresh blackberries 
from my Aunt Mary's garden in Kentucky. Had the doughs rolled out. When you're putting your crust into your bowl and you're rolling it out so that you can put it in your bowl, always put a little bit of flour in between your rolls so that they don't stick together when you spread your cobbler out. Even though crust is very forgiving, why add to the problem if you don't have to? And it sticking together would be a problem. You put a few holes at the bottom so that it doesn't buckle. Keep an eye on our blackberries. They're starting to release their juices, which is what you want. We're going to trim our dough. Keep your extra dough that you trim off. You can freeze it. And when you need dough for whatever reason, you've got it. Dough freezes very well. And like I said, dough is very forgiving. It's very forgiving. If you make a mistake with dough, you can always fix it. All right, and that's the way the inside of your crust should look. And you're ready to fill it with the blackberries. So we're gonna set this aside and give the blackberries another couple of minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna make our top dough real quick. And for that, your top dough out. Always refrigerate your dough until you're ready to use it. Makes it a lot easier to handle. A little more dusting on the on the board. And we're going to quickly roll out this top dough. And like I said, when it comes to cobblers, or most things that you make, simple ingredients are always better because you need to taste everything you put in. If you put too many ingredients in something, all you're going to taste is confusion because it's just too many, it's too many ingredients. If you want blackberries, taste blackberries. If you want peaches, taste peaches. So that's it. That second dough is ready to go. And let's check on our blackberries. Oh yeah. These are our blackberries. And Again, sprinkle some flour in between your rolls so that your crust does not, your crust does not um, get stuck together. Okay, here are the blackberries. We pour them in. Look at them. They're luscious. They're still whole. They have all of their integrity. And they've got this wonderful blackberry juice that is superb. Superb.
Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to sprinkle, I mean, when I say a pinch, I mean a pinch, a pinch of nutmeg. Just a pinch, just like that. You just want the taste of nutmeg, just a hint of it. All right, so we've got everything in it. It's time to finish our cobbler. And this cobbler is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for approximately an hour and maybe 15 minutes on 350. Again, you take your scissors and you trim your dough because if you, you're you going to need dough for something and if you keep all your dough, you'd be surprised how many things you can do with your leftover dough. You can do dumplings, you can do biscuits, you can do more pies, you can do anything you want to do, fried pies, anything. Keep your leftover dough if you can. Okay, so next we're gonna put both those together so that they can seal in this cobbler because at our house growing up, if you didn't have a bottom crust on your cobbler, it wasn't cobbler. One of the best things about cobbler is the crust. So this is how my grandmother made her homemade blackberry, Kentucky blackberries. This is how she made her blackberry cobbler. Every time. Every time. Pure ingredients, pure vanilla, sugar, real butter, touch of nutmeg, cobbler. Now, to this cobbler, I am going to just dust a little bit with a cinnamon sugar. So I'm gonna dust with cinnamon sugar. And we're gonna put this in the oven on 350 for approximately an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes. I'll let you know when it comes out. We are going to make our marks. I do three marks going down on each side and one there and one there. That that is our blackberry cobbler. It's going into the oven. I'll see you as soon as it comes out. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned. I'll be back. All right, everybody. This is the homemade blackberry pie. Grandma Mabel Clara Parks recipe. Born in 1901, died in 1974. Daughter of a slave, which makes me the third generation daughter of a slave. Okay, this is it. Homemade blackberry cobbler. Hope you enjoy it. It's just out the oven. It is still bubbling. So I'm not going to cut it yet, but I will show a slice. Um, once it cools off, I will um, add a slice so that you can see what it looks like. But uh, it is very good, and you'll enjoy it.